Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm so glad you're joining me. We are again celebrating some more Christmas in July, and this time we're using a Spellbinders Club Kit. This is the large die of the month club kit for July 2023, and I have to tell you, I'm a little partial to this one. I hate to say that this one's my favorite because there are so many great ones, but if you're looking for a Christmas die set for, for your holiday card making, this is it <laughs> because it has a little bit of everything that is super fun. This is called The Stocking Full of Joy, and there are, let's see, 18 cutting dies in here. Um, one of them creates a stocking. You get some mistletoe, you get holly, you get hollywood berries, you get a little gnome. My favorite gingerbread man is in here. You also get um, a candy cane and some Christmas ornaments to stuff your stocking filled with goodies. So let's jump in and do a little bit of die cutting. I have some colored card stock off to the side. I kind of picked my color theme here. I thought we would create a red background, so I'll put that back. But um, I thought our stocking, we would go pink today. So we're gonna die cut out a pink stocking. For my gingerbread, I'll die cut that out. This is Spellbinders, all these actually are Spellbinders Color Essential Card Stock. I'll leave a list over on my blog and down below of the colors that I use today. But this is Dune. Dune makes the perfect gingerbread, in my opinion. <laughs> We have some rainforest, and I'm gonna die cut out the holly with the berries, and then we'll do some single holly leaves too. That's also included. We have, I have some foam because the gingerbread pieces have the little frosting um, waves to it, and you can die cut those out. And I'm gonna use um, some pop up foam for a little dimension. That way I don't have to fuss with um, layering it on there. The foam is gonna give me the dimension for the frosting on my gingerbread. So I'll die cut that out. There's some also gnome elements on this die too, but we're not, I'm not gonna use the gnome today. Um, I have some mirror silver cardstock. Those are gonna be for the ornaments. I take that back. Those will be for the ornament toppers. The silver part of the ornaments. For my ornaments, I'm gonna use Waterfall and Glacier cardstock, a blue and a teal. Our ornaments are together, so when you die cut these out, I'll die cut out four ornaments in total. And then I'm bringing in some mirror red cardstock. I haven't used this, but this is really pretty. It's double sided. And we're going to create a candy cane. So this piece here has the red stripe part of, or the white stripe part of the candy cane. Um, I'll die cut that out with my red mirror and also this little piece that has a whole bunch of circles on it. They all look the same um, at first glance, but the first, let's see, the first eight that go to your gingerbread, okay? And then these second eight are the berries that go to your holly leaves because there's little holes in them. And so I'll die cut this out with with that also. And then we have some elements for our stocking. I'm bringing in some Spellbinders white glitter cardstock. This kind of has a flock look to it that doesn't shed. Um, it's, it's not iridescent, which is nice, so it creates the perfect fluff for a stocking. And then you also get the text or the to, to mention for that. So I'll die cut out the stocking top with my white glitter foam along with the heel and the toe part of the stocking. We'll die cut that out too. Okay. For a candy cane, I'm just going to go regular white card stock. And then that's it. The rest, there is a sentiment in here that says joy. This is the gnome with the beard, and then the, this is the mistletoe. We're gonna, we can use that for Christmas, <laughs> but we're gonna die cut out. I think we have plenty to stuff our stocking with. So I'm gonna run everything through my die cut machine, and then we are gonna create some fun elements. And you know what? I'm also, before I go, I'm also going to take that red A2 panel, 
This is pomegranate cardstock, and I'm going to emboss my background with the Spellbinders 3D embossing folder. This is called Tuft. And so I'll run this through my die cut machine for a little bit of texture in our background. So I will be back in just a minute. I, oops, I have everything. Everything is all die cut out. And I did end up die cutting out an extra strip of the berries because I, I did die cut out an extra one of my holy bear. I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I like to have extra just in case. Okay, we are going to do a little bit of ink blending on our gingerbread and our holly leaves. But in the meantime, we are going to build our stocking first. Okay, I love that they included the little stocking pull. And I'm going to go ahead and take that pull, add a little bit of glue up in this corner. And I'm going to tack that down. And then this is the white glitter foam. I kept the pieces in it. Actually one of them popped out. I had to replace it. But I kept the pieces in it because I wanted um, a solid look for our stocking. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more glue behind here. Making sure to go over those pieces. And then just using my reverse tweezers we'll go ahead and place this right over the top. Let me show you. He has a little bit of dimension. Really cute. Okay, now I'm going to add some glue to the heel and the toe of our stocking. And then we die cut out these pieces. At first glance, I thought these went to the ornaments. But nope, they go to the heel of the stocking. And I love that the stitching detail you can still see. And our stocking has some dimension to it. So our stocking is done. We're going to create our candy cane. Now I was glad that on the the mirror red cardstock that these pieces stayed in because these pieces are the the order that the candy cane would go. So I'm going to start by adding some glue, not on the rounded, very rounded part. Now for the most part, these stripes went in the same order as the curve of your candy cane, with the exception of this one here. So this one here is at the very bottom here, and this next one you would start here and then follow around. Okay? Now I'm going to put this off to the side, and then we have our little berries. I mentioned, I mentioned with these that the bear, there's the circles that go on the gingerbread. It's hard to tell, but there is deboss detail, so you know exactly where to put the zigzags and also where to put the little circles. Um, I'm going to punch out the berries. The berries for these, for the holly, have holes in them. Whereas the gingerbread circles don't. Okay, I'm not going to add my berries just yet. Um, we're going to push these off to the side and work on our ornaments. And I'm just going to add a little glue to the very top. And we're going to take our ornament toppers. The small one goes with the small ornament. Okay, I'm going to put these off to the side and let these dry. The silver mirror cardstock, any kind of the mirror cardstock, usually takes a little bit of extra time to dry. And I do want to thread these with some silver thread. So those can completely dry. We're going to do a little bit of ink blending with some oxide inks. For our gingerbread, I'm using Vintage Photo. I'm going to use my blending brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ink to 
the edges of our gingerbread. I'm going to crispy them up. So we have a little toastiness on our gingerbread. Now I'm going to use mowed lawn and my blending brush and we're going to add a little bit of color to our holly leaves. Okay, so we have some berries to our holly and lots left over. <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and add the little zigzags to our gingerbread. And again, there's deboss detail on here. So you just follow along the detailed area. And since we used our foam, our pop-up foam, there's already dimension to it. How cute is that? To finish off our gingerbread, I'm going to be using some Spellbinders Dimensional Dots. These are new to the Spellbinder shop. If you like enamel dots, you're going to love these. Um, there's clear, so they make great dew drops or water scenes. Um, there's, there's purple. There, these are two tones, so you get two different colors. And then there's black and white. There is two-tone pink, teal, and blue. We're going to use the teal and the blue and the pink for our gingerbread and then for our gingerbread eyes I'm going to use the um, the black and white huh. I'm wondering if I can add a little dot with my white gel pen to these little black enamel dots for the eyes and I can so we're just going to add a couple of, using my white gel pen, we'll just make his eyes look a little less scary. <laughs> so our gingerbread's good, we have some candy buttons, our holly's done, now we get to do some stuffing. I did mention our ornaments, that I want to add a little bit of um, some string to, so I'm using some DM some DMC silver floss. Spellbinder sells these and it's super shiny. And I'm what I'm gonna do is just thread these through. I just need two of them. So I'll use these two. Maybe three. So I'm just gonna thread a loop through my ornament. And I'll do that to all of them. So all of our ornaments are threaded. Now we get to build our stocking. We have our card base. And you know what I'm going to do? Just to give this a little bit more interest. I'm going to, you're going to go, what is she doing? But I'm going to use my black ink. And then I have my blending brush that I use for my black ink. And I'm going to add a little bit of color to the edges. Now this looks really harsh, but when you put those soft colors against it, it's really going to stand out. Okay, we have our stocking. I am going to pop up my stocking with some foam squares. You know what the nice thing about the stocking is too? Another versatile thing about the large die of the month is these make great Christmas tags. This is like the perfect size for a present. So you want to put to and from on the back and then you can fancy this up. I just think that's so cute. I'm going to lower it more than normal because I'm going to fill up my stocking. Um, with my holly. So we'll add this and then I'm going to stuff it with my candy cane. Let's see. Let's add some glue behind our holly. 
I'm not going to worry about the upper portion. Kind of like that free flowing. But we will stuff our stocking with our holly. I'm going to add my candy cane. And I'm going to loop over the string behind the back. And if it's a little too long, we can always trim away the excess. We're going to add our ornaments. Before I go any further, I want to place my sentiment. Now I'm going to go really simple with my sentiment. There is the joy that's in our, our die set, but I'm going to use a sentiment strip. These are from Simon Says Stamp. They have a whole bunch of different um, occasions. This one happens to be Christmas. And I'm going to trim away Christmas hugs and kisses. This is made from toner paper, so if you wanted to actually foil this, run it through your laminator um, with red foil. It would coordinate with the berries really pretty, but I'm just going to leave it ba uh, black. My little gingerbread eyes are black and I need some balance because otherwise they're standing out too much for me. <laughs> so I'll trim these down. So I have Christmas hugs and kisses. Now I trimmed off the left and right of the sentiment strip. Now what I'm going to do is create a banner with the extra pieces. So this is the extra pieces that I trimmed off on this side. I'm going to fishtail the end, just removing that white area. Okay. And then I'll flip over my sentiment. I'm going to add a little glue to the left and to the right. And then I'm going to tack down the corner here. Quick and easy banner. I'll flip this around. I'm going to put a thin strip of foam tape. Actually, do we want to do that? I'm going to use some pop-up foam right in the middle. And I have one left over. We could put that on the inside if we wanted to. But that finishes my card today. Super fun, super adorable stuffed stocking. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon for some more Christmas in July projects. Have a great day. Bye-bye.